फाइव मोस्ट हेटेड टॉपिक्स ऑफ एस क्यूएल सो फार वट एवर वीडियोज आई हैव क्रिएटेड ऑन माई चैनल वी ऑलवेज ग्लोरीफाइड एस क्यूएल वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस वट इज द रोड मैप यू शुड फॉलो वट आर टॉपिक्स यू नीड टू स्टडी वाई इज इट वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर दी डेटा एनालिटिक्स हाउ इट इज बींग यूज हाउ इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड वाई इज इट सो मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू क्रैक दी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन दी बिग डेटा डोमेन एंड बेस्ड ऑन माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वर्किंग इन दी बिग डेटा डोमेन एज अ डेटा इंजीनियर इन डिफरेंट कंपनीज ऑनेस्टली टेलिंग यू आई फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन माई इनिशियल डेज लाइक वेन एवर आई स्टार्टेड विद एस क्यू एल वेन आई स्टार्ट लर्निंग इट there were tons of topics and i literally hate them sometimes they were really annoying and i literally got frustrated while implementing them so i thought why not to create a special video for this special discussion but before getting into this video if you are a beginner and you also want to kick start your journey in the domain of data analytics and big data and you are a complete beginner complete noob in the sql you want to know what all things you need to study what is the proper sequence and what all things you should focus on then few days back i created this amazing road map video go and check this out this is going to be super helpful for you and if you are interested to solve some really good interview questions around sql to prepare yourself for the next interviews then i have also created few amazing playlist for the same do check that out as well so let's get into the business and start this video coming in at number 5 we have null values the fear and the nightmare of any developer Imagine you implemented all your logic to process the data by looking at its sample your logic is ready but one day the data you are getting the fields you were about to process there were null values in the input and you are getting null in your output honestly this will be really scary and the reason is that the null values are not exactly same as empty string or zero ultimately you can say it does not have any shape and this is the main reason we will be getting unexpected query result and it will force any developer to unnecessarily apply complicated conditional statements to deal with null values that is why it is very very essential to know the exact difference between the null values and other values to avoid common pitfalls at number 4 we have recursive common table expressions well don't get me wrong recursive common table expressions can be super powerful and useful but it can be a nightmare for a developer when it comes to its recursive implementation also the debugging part so if you don't know how to apply the recursive functions how to write the recursive logics recursive common table expressions will always look difficult and this is the fact that debugging the recursive approaches has always been difficult because you need to imagine most of the things or you need to draw something on the paper just to understand where this code is actually breaking and a fun fact about recursive ct is they are not only meant for hierarchical data relationship they can also be used for iterative approaches and generating sequence of dates and numbers so yes they are powerful but initially you are going to have a tough time and the number 3 spot goes to window functions so when i started learning sql back in 2018 my perception was sql is all about group bys where clauses joins and few common aggregation functions and that's it i was completely wrong because when it comes to powerful data analytics window function is actually the backbone of sql and that time these topics were completely untouched and i was not even aware about it and literally when i started exploring window functions how they work how they are implemented and what is their actual use i was struggling with it honestly it was really difficult to understand the core concept of the window functions like how to applying the partitioning how that window rolling works and most important part like the common difference between row number rank dense rank because their implementation looks same their output also looks same they are meant to solve a same problem but i was still confused when to use why to use where to use and this is a common challenge you will definitely face with the window functions because not just one there are tons of things to explore in the window function and one of the core logic of it is the frame clauses like rows between and the range between so in the starting days i was so confused that how to even implement it how they work on a practical data i was not getting any clue that how to imagine it inside the head like if i write this window function logics how it is going to operate from the beginning till the end and even i got rejected in multiple interviews because i was not able to solve the complex sql query questions which were 
definitely targeted to the window function logic so no doubt this is one of the most important topic you will struggle in your initial days you will find it frustrating but once you master the window function related concepts this is going to help you to solve some really challenging data analytics queries and it will help you to write complex calculation and aggregations very very easily for example running some running average weekly average weekly summation these kind of questions which interviewers often ask in their interviews and before starting the next part i want to call out really important thing about sql so if you are a beginner or even you are a professional who want to practice sql in the practical manner you will definitely get a really hard time on the internet to find a dedicated resource for you i have also faced that challenge but i'm really glad that there is a platform like learnsql.com which is dedicatedly made for the sql thanks to learnsql.com for sponsoring this video this platform has the courses for everyone beginner to the professionals itself and they are constantly adding more and more amazing sql courses so doesn't matter whatever you want to learn it's sql postgres or tsql everything is available on the learnsql.com every course has a free trial part for the users to know how the platform actually works on learnsql.com most users choose the all forever plan to access all 68 present and upcoming courses it's the best value for money option to learn and practice sql here you can see the self explanatory problem statement including the important concept of that topic first and then practicing the exercises with the realistic data sets and very amazing code editor to practice your sql questions and you'll definitely going to enjoy it so this is a must try platform for anyone who want to start with the sql and you can get some really amazing benefits if you will check the link in the description i have provided it use this opportunity and be master in the sql taking the number 2 spot we have database concurrency and locking deadlocks race conditions and isolation levels can make any developer want to pull their hair out interestingly different databases handle concurrency and locking mechanism differently like optimistic and pessimistic locking which can significantly impact the performance of your application so if you are not well versed with these topics and most important the depth of these topics then this will be really really challenging for you because when you write the sql queries obviously concurrent read and write operations will be happening on different different tables so you should definitely know how these logics actually work and how much impact these things are going to put on your application performance finally the most hated topic of sql that is query optimization and none of the developer actually want to get into it after writing their sql queries because optimizing any sql query is a skill in itself with so many factors to consider like indexing query execution plans and query rewrites it's no wonder that this topic is challenging in itself a fascinating aspect of query optimization is that the query optimizer in most of the database uses cost based approach to choose the best execution plan but sometimes it might not pick the best execution plan hence leaving the room for the manual tuning and this is the super interesting part of writing sql queries because when it comes to writing sql queries like 10 out of 10 developers will be able to do that but as a developer how much optimal queries you are writing this is something which is going to matter a lot because it will have a direct and indirect impact to the business for sure and even the customer experiences also do let me know in the comment section whether you like query optimization or not and if you personally like it then in general what kind of techniques you follow to optimize your sql queries so that is what i had for the five most hated topics of sql and in the beginning i shared my personal experience as well that when i started learning sql it was challenging for me so definitely it is going to be challenging for you if you are just starting with sql so there is no need to feel demotivated and do not put any questions on yourself that you do not know anything about sql it is all about the practice with the time and while working on practical use cases you will learn a lot of about sql so i hope you would have enjoyed this video also you would have learned few really new things from this video if yes then make sure to give a like in the big numbers also let me know in the comment section what kind of ranking you will be giving to these five topics as per your experience so i'll see you guys in the next week with another amazing topic till then just keep exploring data